What is cellular respiration? You know that you need to eat to get energy, but what does that energy come from? Okay, glycolysis is the first step in the whole cellular respiration thing, where one six molecule car carbon compound, glucose, is broken down into two three carbon compounds called pyruvic acid. Now, what to break down to break down the first into the first step, but one ATP is used to make 2 ADP. Now, this makes the two pyruvic acid chains that we see right here. Right there, yeah. Then, we use 4 ADP to create 4 ATP and also 2 NAD plus is used to make 2 NADH which will then go and carry high-energy electrons for the electron transport chain. After that, we have our two pyruvic acid chains that are fully complete, and then those are ready to go and be in the Krebs cycle. It's not present. Glycolysis is followed by a different pathway. The combined processes of this pathway in glycolysis is called fermentation. Now, fermentation releases energy from food molecules by producing ATP in the absence of oxygen. <laughs> During fermentation, the cells convert NADH back into the, NA into the positively charged NAD plus form by passing high-energy electrons back to pyruvic action, acid. This action converts NADH back into the electron carrier NAD plus, allowing glycolysis to continue along producing a steady supply of ATP. There are two main types of fermentation, alcoholic and lactic. Right here we have the formula for lactic, as for lactic fermentation, which occurs in most of your muscle cells. So, well, alcoholic for fermentation occurs in yeast and a few other microorganisms. Now, for lactic, uh, for lactic fermentation, no, glucose is the, glucose is then turned is turned into pyruvic acid, using two ADP to make two ATP, and two NAD plus for two NADH. Then pyruvic acid goes to lactic acid, making NADH back into two NAD plus, which then goes all the way back, and becomes another. Which so it could so the cycle could carry on NAD plus back to NAD plus back to NADH. Then the lactic acid is usually what you feel in a muscle cramp after you've been exercising, if you even lift, bro. In the presence of oxygen, pyruvic acid produced in glycolysis passes to the second stage of cellular respiration, the Krebs cycle. The Krebs cycle is named after Hans Krebs, the British biochemist who demonstrated its existence in 1937. During the Krebs cycle, pyruvic acid is broken down into carbon dioxide in a series of energy-extracting reactions. Because citric acid is the first compound formed in this series of reactions, the, K the Krebs cycle is also known as the citric acid cycle. The Krebs cycle takes place in the matrix of a mitochondria, right here. The pyruvic acid created by lysis insert goes inside the mitochondrion ma mitochondrion's matrix. Ah, that's a tongue twister and a half for you. <clears throat> Where then it oxidizes, losing a carbon, which becomes CO2. Enzymes then break down NAD NAD plus right there into NADH. Then the two carbon compound acyltal CoA then adds two carbon acyltal group to a four compound to a four carbon compound, creating citric acid right here. Now the citric acid is broken down into a five carbon compound, re releasing a CO two 
and making an NAD plus into NADH, as seen here. Then, the five carbon compound that it goes in turn to a four oxidizes in turn into a four carbon compound that this time releasing CO2, making NAD plus into NADH, and create and having ADP go in to ATP. This four carbon compound then it has co has enzymes to break go make FAD go into FAD two FADH two, which is then used for uh, electron transport chain, and also another NAD plus into NADH, concluding the cycle and repeating. So the Krebs cycle which occurred in the matrix right here, regenerates these amazing high-energy electrons that are then passed to NADH and FADH2. The electrons are then passed to the electron transport chain, which is in the inner membrane of the mitochondria right here. The electron transport chain takes these electrons and uses them to convert ADP into ATP, and that's where we get some of our energy. Okay. So the high-energy electrons brought by the NADH and the FADH2 are brought into the electron transport chain, which exists for eukaryotic cells in the inner membrane of the mitochondrion. <coughs> in this inner membrane, they are carried through these carrier proteins that transport H plus ions from the matrix into the intermembrane space. So when the higher energy electrons are transported through the electron transport chain, they're bringing over all these H plus ions that are going over here into the intermembrane space. Now eventually, so many of these so many of these H plus ions are getting over here that this becomes more positively charged than the matrix, causing the causing higher or H plus ions to go through the channel of the AT turning the ATP synthase, making ADP into ATP, as demonstrated by Nick.